So, you want to get into Popper, eh? Well, let me help you. But before we get started, I just want to let you guys know, uh, go subscribe to Nick's Lotus. Um, he's the one who gave me the idea for this YouTube video because he really wanted to know how to get into Popper. So, I'm going to be your guy and go subscribe to him. Also, by the way, I make music, so go check out my music channel if you want to see some awesome beats and all that. But we're not here to talk about that. We're here to talk about Popper. And Popper is fun. Popper equals fun. Why? Because you got cards like Monastery Swift Spear and Delver of Secrets and Boggles. Boggles? The, the heck is Boggles? It's a one mana one one with the hex proof. What? I don't, that doesn't make any sense. But. First of all, what is Popper? We, we got to get down to the nitty gritty. What is Popper? So you know all of your rares and your mythics and your cards that absolutely break metas? Well, throw them away. You, you won't need them here. We, we don't deal with that kind of stuff here. We take decks like, that are like 60, 70 bucks with all your bulk commons, you know? All those that you just keep in little containers of them. All your bulk commons like Dead Weight, Miss Cloak Herald, all that. Well, those are playable now. You can play all of them. Every single common that you have in your bulk bin, you can play it. Doesn't matter what kind of deck, you can play any of these cards. But before you just start making a deck willy-nilly, you got to know about some banned cards, okay? Some of the banned cards, you might be like, oh, that'd be really fun to play. Or there's a reason why they're banned. Stuff like Grape Shot and uh, Empty the Warrens, all those, a lot of the Storm cards, besides Weather the Storm, those are banned for a reason. Because apparently... Popper Storm is just way too good. Also, we got stuff like Peregrine, Peregrine Drake. There's also a two-mana version. Uh, things that untap lands, it's just not that fun because a lot of the decks, like Ephemerate decks, were just absolutely taken over. But then you got cards like Invigorate, which you think, like, why, why does that matter? Like, what? Invigorate just gives something plus four, plus four for three mana or give an opponent three life? Well, Infect was a little problem and a little trouble so they decided to ban it but we're not here to talk about cards you shouldn't play and you cannot play we're talking about the ones you can play so these are the decks you should play in popper if you want to get into popper i'd recommend starting out with one of these decks basically any deck list you find online they're going to be roughly the same but they're really good and these are some of the top decks that are absolutely fun to play with and play against well except for one of them but we'll get to that First, we got Burn. You got your Monastery Swift Spear. You got your Lightning Bolt. You got your Galvanic Blast. What are they trying to do? They're trying to burn. <laughs> They're trying to go face. They go face hard. They burn you down. They kill your creatures. They do a bunch of shenanigans. They try to do early aggression fast and kill you even faster. So then on the opposite end, you got something like Affinity. Stuff like Frog Mites and your Icar Well Springs and your Thought Cast. They're going to draw lots of cards, play lots of artifacts, and just... Even their lands are artifacts. It's just value on value on value. I love Affinity. Affinity's one of my favorite. Oh, man, I love playing against Affinity. Like, and even playing Affinity, you just draw so many cards. You play so many artifacts. They're so fun. But Boggles. Boggles, I actually play Boggles, too. Uh, it, you know, 1-1 one, one Hexproof. You know that one I just talked about a second ago. Yeah, well, why don't you slap an Ancestral Mask or Rancor on there? And, you know, just put a bunch of enchantments on there because nobody's going to touch it because it has Hexproof, so they can't get rid of it. So you're just going to make it bigger. So you're going to make this little big guy even bigger. And he's, he's going to get really big and he's going to hit face every time. Uh, especially because Rancor giving it Trample. And if they happen to be able to kill, like, your Boggle or anything, you got backups and you can get the Rancors back from your hand. Oh, man. Voltron, one of my favorite kind of decks of all time. And then we got stuff like, is it Delver? This one, this one's the one that I, I don't like. <laughs> none, none of my decks do well against Delver, but who cares? Delver's still really fun to play with, but it, playing against it can kind of suck. Because Delver Secrets, being able to flip into a 3-2 with flying, a uh, fiery cannonade to board wipe and counter spells, you're literally going to take your opponent's game plan, you're going to shit on it. You're just... They're going to be crying, pooping their pants because you countered the big important spell where you board wiped them. Like if you're playing Elves, Fire Cannonade, oh, destroy them. Also, we got decks like Cogates. What? Pick and Poison. Do you want a Squadron Hawk? Do you want a Sacred Cat? It doesn't matter. You're going to play down a Basilisk Gate and just give them so much power. Like out of nowhere, you're 
lands do stuff, your creatures do stuff. That's not even talking about the spells you can play. You're mostly playing a white blue. Um, like you can have some like counter spells and stuff like prismatic strands and all that. But Cog Gates, really fun to play against. It's really efficient. If you want to play something that's consistently efficient and does kind of the same thing every time, Cog Gates is absolutely amazing. It's not like Tron where you just need three lands and win. It, it's more of a, you get one of these and you, all you need is one. You need is one land. And then the rest of your lands are gates. So yeah, it's, it's gross. It's gross how much damage it could output. It's absolutely disgusting. But now we need my deck of choice and it is Presence of Guard. Uh, with a combination of Midnight Guard, Presence of God and a Soul Warden, you can get infinite creatures with the little untap, tap, all the shenanigans. You can get infinite life. And what do you need to it with it? Because obviously it's a creature and an enchantment based thing. So you need every single form of protection out there. It's you, you need the combo to go off. I once got it off five times in a tournament. I went two one in that tournament. I was kicked off because I countered one of my things. So with stuff like Manatide, being able to counter counter spells or like in the early game and standard bearers, just shutting off some decks, Benevolent Bodyguard, great card. It's it's amazing. Presence of Guard is one of my favorite combos of all time. I, I knew that back when I was like first starting to play. Absolutely amazing. But if you like this and want to know more about the Commander format, please let me know. Like and subscribe and comment down below if you want to see more of this or what your favorite popper deck is, what your favorite commander is, favorite commander deck. If you want me to do more commander stuff, I'll go ahead and do that too. I don't really care. Just comment down below what your favorite anything is in Magic. Like and subscribe, and I will see you guys in the next video.